Hello, everyone, and welcome to part one of uh, day two here at the OBA Base Academy. Um, we're we're going to see some very interesting stuff today. Going to go on the ramp. Uh, but before we get into it, I'd like to say uh, thank you. Uh, thank you once again to the OBA Base Academy, as they're the reason that I was able to get all this footage for you guys. Um, I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I just really like the experience there. I know it kind of feels like I'm being sponsored because I'm promoting them so much, but uh, you should definitely check them out if uh, if you can. They're in cities all across the U.S. I'm just really thankful that I was able to uh, uh, have the experience of going to one of these camps and definitely opened my eyes to a lot of jobs in the aviation industry. Um, I'm probably going to say this before every video from this camp, but uh, I'm trying to, try to make them shorter. Without further ado, we'll start here with this Air Canada Express uh, CRJ-900. This is not on the ramp yet. This is in the terminal. You know, a really cool shot right there. Um, we're going to have a great month of best of plane spotting, so look forward to that. And then here is the Delta Connection CRJ-200. I don't see these very often here at MSP, so that's a treat to see. And then the Alaska 737-900 taxiing in. And right here, Delta A321, this is, now we're on the ramp. So really cool to see there. And then uh, Delta Connection CRJ-900, taxiing by. And then here's the aircraft we'll be checking out, Delta 757-200. And here is uh, underneath the aircraft. This is a really nice shot, if I do say so myself. I really like this uh, photo. You can see the light on the, main, on the nose gear and then the main gear behind it. Uh, pretty much, you don't see too many photos like this, but I think it's a nice kind of cinematic view. And here's the Delta, uh, here's the Delta tail and uh, R1 door. Here's another A321 that was parked next to us. Uh, and here's the main deck loader. And now here's the Delta Christian Surgeon 900 taking off. You know, it's hard to get plane spotting photos this up close. So this is really cool. Uh, this is the Delta 717 landing. Here's some information about the flight. Uh, we're departing in 2 hours and 42 minutes. So we had plenty of time to check out the aircraft and walk around it and do whatever we wanted, really. Here is the engine up close. And then the 717 that landed is now taxiing by. So another photo there. <laughs> and I want to sign the cockpit here. You know, this has a lot more buttons and not as many screens like the... Uh, Airbus that we checked on the last video in the last few videos. Here is the thrust levers, and then the yoke right here. So um, obviously the cockpit a lot uh, less advanced because this is from the I think I believe this aircraft is nineteen ninety three, and those are the backup instruments. Um, and this is just kind of what it looks like from the uh, captain's seat. And now we take a view throughout the cabin. And here we go to the <laughs> exit door, uh, overwing exit, the 757. And really cool to see there. There are the exit pass, of course, and the A321 parked right there. And the uh, emergency exit uh, handle. Struggle of exiting there. <laughs> we got the uh, exit on the other side. So walking through here, this is all economy. Coming up on my friend there. <laughs> and uh, just continue walking through here. The overhead bins and the Delta logo right there. We'll go back to the galley here about all the drink carts. A lot of drink carts back here. And then the uh, uh, rear doors, flight attendant seats. And we continue our walk back through. We have the uh, medical bin right there. More overhead bins and then... Uh, here are all the screens. Of course, these are all turned on, unlike in the last video where they were all turned off because it was in the hangar. Who's going to watch them? These are all turned on right here. And looking out over the wing once again, this is a very nice shot. I, I'm sure I got a photo of this somewhere. This might actually appear later. I'm not quite sure. Continue our walk back through. And then going over the overwing exit once again. It was really cool to just have this entire aircraft to ourselves. Uh, here's the tray table. We're going to do a little uh, economy seat review here on the Delta 757. And then here is the safety card that I'm 
it's be very very embarrassing that I struggle to open this because I'm filming with one with one hand I'm opening this with another one. We have the uh, sick bag in there. Here's what the safety card looks like. That was kind of embarrassing. I couldn't get it to open. There's the AT twenty one. Uh, here's the overwing exit again. And now the uh, they're boarding through the L two door for this aircraft. So there you can see the jet bridge. And here is the engine. I should get a better shot of this later, I think. Um, and then here is the exit sign. And I'll do a review of the first class seat. Of course, a lot more legroom. I was surprised to see how many pockets they had there. They had like four pockets in the seat back. And there's a screen, of course. Nice armrest. Go down here, we got uh, some uh, USB plugs, I think. Or... Yeah, those are the USB plugs down there. Uh, you have the screen, of course. Someone's making an announcement there. <laughs> so, uh, a little bit interesting there, but we got a uh, nice screen there. Command to cleanliness, great. And then here is the uh, end once again from the first class seat. Here's the A321 off our starboard side. And then the, all these circuit breakers on the 77. An endless abyss of circuit breakers. A lot more buttons, like I said, multiple times. Here's the duct logo on the jet bridge to the uh, L1 door window. And then here we have uh, this is just what the first officer's side looks like. Uh, and then here is the yoke with instruments in the background. And then the, uh, here are the thrust levers again. I don't know why I got two shots of this. There's the terminal back there, of course. And then overhead panel. Like I said, a lot more switches, a lot more buttons. <laughs> And then uh, here's the landing gear uh, lever. Uh, there's a lot of wires back there. And even this shot of the underside of the dash, you got a lot of uh, wires. I don't know what those are for. Here's our aircraft once again at 77. It's now getting catered. And speaking of catering, uh, this just blew right up to me. I was gonna, I saw it and I was thinking, I'm not going to pick it up unless it goes right to me. And sure enough, it blew right to me. And this is a, this is a paper that shows like all the, the drink carts and where they go or something. I'm not quite sure. But it's still really cool to see this. It just literally blew right up to me. Uh, and it shows the flight info and stuff. So really cool to see there. Uh, the little souvenir that I got there. Some FOD that just blew right up to me. So I'll take it. But uh, thank you for checking this out. There will be a part two posted later. And I'll see you tomorrow as always. Good night. Auf Wiedersehen.